You're very welcome back. Now, our next guest is a man of many talents. He can play the guitar while making you laugh. Apparently, we'll test him out in a minute. Not easily done. And <laughs> recently, we discovered that he can dance. He was an absolute triumph on Dancing with the Stars, reaching the semi-finals as he won over the hearts of the nation. Well, now he's gearing up for a summer of comedy at the likes of Body and Soul. Later this year, he's bringing his brand new stand-up show to Vicar Street. Fred Cook, you're very welcome this Guys, morning. Thanks for having me on. Good it's, morning, Fred. It's an Fred. absolute pleasure. Um, you can play the guitar and make us laugh. I can, yeah. Now, yeah. was that always the, the act, or did it develop into that? <laughs> oh, do you know, I, for, for the first five years in comedy, I didn't use the guitar, and I used to be quite snobby about it, oh. saying that it's a prop, do you know. It's a, and, but then I seemed like a Joe Rooney used the Bill guitar. Bailey. And, oh, exactly, yeah, they to mention. Yeah, yeah. And then I realised, I think, in this industry, you have to put your, any assets that you have forward, do you Absolutely, know what I mean? Absolutely, like, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, I love it. And I love playing the guitar more than ever now in a recreation sense of it, you know. So you I genuinely do have a passion for it. Oh, I love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And does it take the form of doing parodies or what is it in the show? Musical parodies? Uh, to a certain extent, yeah. It's, 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 it's singing about singing about different situations, yeah. you know. Like, I'm, I'm working on a new song now about, like, Irish weddings are the only reason why we want to lose weight. All this kind of stuff, you know. And it's, uh, <laughs> to song. Well, exactly, lower. that's the idea, do you know what I mean? Now, that's, not, that's an unfinished thing, but I think... The idea has to be quite strong, you know yeah. what I mean, for the song to work, do you know? Now, Anna said, Fred, in the introduction, that you you won our hearts mm. on Dancing with the Stars. When, it's a question we've asked various guests and people who've taken part in the show. When you signed up to it, did you know what you were letting yourself in? No, for? I didn't. It, like, it was so intense, but but brilliantly intense, you know. It was, and as, as the week uh, progressed, and there was less of us. Uh, there was more to do because yeah. you had to do all the VTs as well and yeah. stuff like that. So it was. And uh, you have more routines each week then exactly, as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. Yeah, you two dances. Like our first dance, we had three weeks to do that, and then you know up to the up to the semi final, we had to learn two dances in one week. So what was your regular routine then? Was it in the dance studio every day? Yeah, I would I would drive to the M3 <laughs> uh, Parkway, mm -hmm. and I get the I get the train then to Docklands, yeah. and I'd meet I'd meet Julie, my dancer. Do you know, half nine, uh, ten o'clock, and we'd go till we'd dance till till nine till till five, five really? p.m. Yeah, yeah. But you know, especially up to the quarterfinals, semifinals, when you had so much to do and promotion around that. But it was brilliant, and I purposely I took a risk. Do you know, I was I was on the Tommy Tiernan show, and I yeah. said I couldn't do it with the dates of Dancing with the Stars, uh, because it, it clashed. So I took a risk, and I purposely put three months aside. Uh, so I said, if I can stay in the show as long as I can. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do any gigs during that period. Yeah. You know, it was just so to focused. Yeah, yeah. I really did. Yeah, it is yeah. that kind of show, though. You have to kind of hand yourself over to it, mm. don't you, for that space of time yeah, and properly yeah. commit. That's it. You know, like, you, you just your head needs to be there as well. Like, it's kind of, I often felt, it's one thing having the passion in the music, but the, the technicalities of it. Yeah. Uh, like, Julia, uh, my dancer, was she was so patient and uh, uh, with me. Do you know what I mean? To to get to the next level, do you know, and she knew my strengths, she knew my weaknesses. And, the, and, and could you dance before there. you started? Did you I'd fancy yourself as a dancer? Oh, 100 percent Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. And you know what? I probably thought I was a better dancer going into it. <laughs> I, I, I think was... most people yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I yeah, haven't exactly. been a rhythm now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but the technicalities is a different ball game. Oh, definitely. And the fact yeah. that you're being judged on the technicalities. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also you think you've rhythm until you stand beside someone like Julia yeah. Dotta. Yeah, who's just yeah. incredible, mm. isn't she? Oh, every if you look at if you Taking a picture of Julie and I uh, throughout her dances, it's like she's she always had it. She always had her structure, yeah. her angles, yeah. her, her facial things. Yeah, you can see it's it incredible there, look. performer, like yeah. And she she said with this, if she's out to Charleston. She said to me that every move needs to be. If someone takes a picture of us, we're doing the exact same thing, and, and it has to be all times. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, and that was the first time because I wasn't. I couldn't see Julia. Both of us were yeah. were facing out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so she really worked hard to get that right. And as silly as it is, and as childish, you know, it took that Charleston. It took a lot. It took a lot to get right. And I think the Charleston saved me. Yeah. And it kept me in the competition because then the kids love that dance. I was just about they to do. say, yeah. as yeah. silly yeah. as it is, it's a yeah. family show. <clears throat> you're playing to the yeah. audience, That's and it. kids love yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So and it was uh, it was lovely, you know, and it was. Uh, and I still, I still get noticed as well, like especially like uh, 
especially the kids. And when I was eliminated as well, you know, my godson was in tears. I've got friends whose oh, nice. kids as well. And, but, it's, it, you know, it was just it's wonderful. I got 12 weeks out of it. Did you and feel you know, anxious the about the whole thing? Because <clears throat> I, I feel anxious watching them. Yeah. Do you know, as I didn't someone initially, who really enjoyed it. Initially, I didn't. But, my God, when we got into the, uh, the, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, I was like, there's so many people watching this now. Yeah, yeah it's a juggernaut of a show. And you do question yourself, your own ability. You're looking like a Johnny Ward and Cleo Moraine. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, should I really be here? You know, should I? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I became like this, uh, I, I kind of felt like, and I didn't know my moves a lot of the time. I just about got it together on the Sunday. Yeah. Like, like Julian, we were in tears on the Sunday in dress rehearsals. And uh, I, I, I faked it with a smile a lot of the time. Yeah. I, I, I almost felt like a, like a politician in the heyday who hadn't a clue what was going on. But just like, smile his way through. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that element weekend, of, yeah, yeah. Basically, isn't it? Exactly, ridiculous <laughs> confidence. And people always talk about, they talk about it in the Irish one and in the UK one, that it's such a kind of, Family vibe, yeah. but they really miss it then when when it's over. Like Kelly yeah. Murphy was on, mm. yeah. she said she missed it terribly. There's after. a massive gap in your mm. life afterwards. It's that yeah. time of year as well. It's just after Christmas. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's so cold as well. People yeah, are yeah, sitting yeah, in yeah. to watch TV. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just before Patrick's Club weekend, together on the couch. Up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But Fred, you do have lots of other stuff going on. Even tonight, you're doing a gig, right? Oh, I am. Tonight, I am doing a gig for Temple Street Children's Hospital, and it's in Vicker Street, and it's an incredible lineup as well. Uh, it's David O'Doherty, Joanne McNally, Alison Spittle. Uh, so there's like Julie J as well, my partner. So it'll be it'll be fantastic, like. And you're raising money for Temple Street. Exactly. Yeah. Not a yeah. bad way to spend a Saturday night. No, not at all. And no, it's I, I love doing this gig. You know, Angie McNulty looks after it, and it's uh, at the bell. Dance. We all know Angie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You have other Body and Soul is the next one coming up. Yeah, as well, Body and Soul, which I love because Body, it's like, Body and Soul is like a home gig to me. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, of it's, course, uh, yeah, yeah. It's only that, because I'm from Kells County to me. Yeah, yeah. I was saying recently, you know, because Kells has been through an awful lot. Do you know, like, learn 1,500 years ago, we had, like, Vikings stole our buck and they brought us to Dublin. Yes, the Kells. <laughs> the swines. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then last month, we'd lads from Northern Ireland stealing our ATMs. That's right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still happening. Exactly, yeah, like half a million euro. Like, and the money doesn't even work up there. So I don't know what That's a doing, crazy like. festival. That's a big yeah. crowd, isn't it? Friend oh, it's brilliant. It is class crack. So it's and it's just a wonderful setup as well. Like uh, uh, Maria, who runs after the gig as well. Like comedy tents and festivals, they're very hard to get right because yeah. it can be such an overflow from the main to ask stage. You that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. people have so much choice. Oh, exactly. Do you, know, you want to mm. go to the bar? Do you want to go to this gig? The X, yeah. Y, or Z are playing mm. on this stage, yeah. and there's the, so you know so you're competing mm. with a lot, aren't you? Yeah, one hundred percent. And the tent needs to be a certain distance away. It just so you can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's and you're part. building up then to Vicker Street. I am, yeah. I'm now, doing that's it. a big gig. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gigging on the 1st of November. Tickets are on sale now on Ticketmaster.ie. Good man. Uh, or dot com, because <clears throat> of you from the UK, you want to come see me yes, as well. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> do you know, and it's... Uh, What's it so, like playing Vicar Street? I love it, yeah. It's, it's such a special Because that's yeah. the kind of mecca for Irish comedians. It is, yeah. yeah. And it, even, as vast as it is with, with crowds, it, it, it can still be quite intimate, the layout yeah, on yeah. it. Do you know, yeah. it's purposely built for that. And it's... Uh, so it's, it's class crack. And do you yeah. have to constantly work on new material, Fred? Or where do you test it out? So... For the gig tonight, you'll do a set. Yeah. For Body and Soul, will it be a different set? Yeah, and then I, Vicar I often, Street? With, with that, I often feel my job is there's a pattern which I'm lucky to return to in the comedy industry. Yeah. That I, I think I'm lucky. I come back to the same places. And my job is to come back with new material. Of course. Because yeah, so yeah. literally, I will go on stage and uh, a year later, and it'll be people <laughs> as, as, as random and sporadic as a, a music festival like the Body and Soul can be. Yeah. There's still people sitting in the exact random it's sporadic mad, areas. You know, yeah. a year later, coming yeah. back to see you. So it's that my job. Different. It's my job ultimately to give them new material. Brilliant. So I'm constantly, constantly. You can never have enough new content. And also, I remember yeah. comedians talking about you'd have a 10 minute spot. Yeah. You'd have a 20 minute mm. spot. You'll have a half hour spot. And for the likes of Vicar Street, though. Yeah. That's a big, that's a long gig. That's that's a, it's it's yeah. such a brave gig to do. Continued success to you, Fred. Oh, thanks so Thank much. Thank you for that. Give him Fred. Give him hell, son. <laughs> now, don't forget, if you want to see Fred perform at Ficker Street later this year, just visit ticketmaster.ie.